Hi guys, thanks for finding my video. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Halo Triton starter kit, as well as the Halo Belgian Cocoa e-liquid. Uh, this video is kind of aimed towards smokers that are trying to get off the cigarettes and get into a little bit of a healthier lifestyle. Um, hopefully this will help you out, uh, give you a little bit of a path on where you can go with it. And let's just kind of jump right into it. I don't, this is my first video, I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to tell you, you know, what I like about it, uh, what I don't like about it, uh, the price, where you can get it, and you know, what all comes in this actual starter kit from Halo themselves. So things that I do like about this is the flavor that I get out of it is damn near on par with my RDAs. Um, I mean, it's phenomenal what I get out of this. I use this when I'm driving because um, you, you don't want to drip and drive. But I mean, it's no matter what liquid that I put in here, the flavor has just been excellent. Um, it's also a larger tank on this uh, as opposed to some of the other kind of clearomizer tanks that I've used in the past. This is a 2.4 milliliter. Um, I know a lot of them, I believe, are about 1.6. I'm not 100% sure on what they would actually be, but I've used a few different liquids in this, and of course I used uh, Halo's Belgian Cocoa, which I'll tell you about here in a little bit. But I've used what's in here now is actually a Mount Baker Vapor liquid, and it's an 80 VG liquid. It's a high VG liquid, and this thing just wicks it like perfectly. I mean, it just sucks it all up there into the coil, and once again, I'm still getting phenomenal flavor. Some of the things that I don't really like about it, though, is probably, I want to say the vapor production itself, which is purely subjective. I mean, I like I said, I use, you know, the rebuildables and everything, so I'm kind of spoiled when it comes to vapor production. Um, from what I can remember when I started vaping, though, and this thing, the vapor, the vapor production actually a lot better. Um, also, like one other thing that I'm not the biggest fan of is the fact that the tank itself is plastic. So, I mean, using cinnamon liquids, anything like uh, citrus liquids, you run the risk of having them crack. And... That's not really a good thing. Um, but, I mean, all in all, I mean, that's, here's the pros and cons that I could find with it. It's a very basic kit. As you can see, it's just a tank, and this is a 650 milliamps an hour battery, I believe. Um, lasts a pretty long time. I mean, it doesn't suck juice, like, how I'm used to going through juice. Um, I can put a decent amount of e-liquid in here and it'll last me a day and a half, two days, and it's great. It's going back to, it's just simple now. So let's talk about, you know, what you get with it. Um, it's, the kit itself is 65 bucks. You can get it on Halo's website, uh, halo6.com. And for $65, you get two of the batteries, two of the tanks, um, some kind of cone that goes over the tank itself, a USB adapter, a wall charger, and a case. And for $65, what you're getting with just the basic kit is that it's an excellent price. I mean, you get two of everything almost, and it's just it's great. Um, go into the specs a little bit. Um, it does have a 10 second cutoff on the battery. Um, I failed to read that on Halo site so I tested it and after I did that of course I got a little bit of a burnt flavor for a few puffs afterwards but that went away after I kind of refilled the liquid and everything so I mean the burnt flavor kind of went away and it vapes fine now. Um, it's five clicks to turn it on, five clicks to turn it off. Um, the battery, take this off of here real quick. The battery is an ego threaded battery. There are no 510, 510 threads in this. So you're kind of limited on what you would use, but of course, 
this style of battery, you're not really going to be using too many different kinds of tanks on this. I would actually stick with the Triton tank anyway. And, and to fill it is really simple too. You screw off the little top cap, pour your liquid down into here, and you're done. Oh, another thing that I should mention that I do like about it is it is replaceable coils, so you can just buy a pack of coils for it. And replacing, you don't got to keep replacing your tank every single time you want a new tank or a new coil in it, so it's always a good thing. And I guess that pretty much concludes my review of this starter kit here. Uh, I hope it kind of gives you some insight. My overall feeling on this is that it's a very good little starter kit. It's better than what I started with. I went to some smoke shop down the street from my house and spent $20 on a little starter kit and it wasn't really all that great. Um, it didn't get me off of the cigarettes. I feel like this can probably get you to quit smoking and you know you can start exploring vaping more. I know Halo offers more advanced kits as well. Um, a variable voltage kit I think that they offer and and so they're also a very wide variety of colors you don't have to get just the black like this one is um, batteries come in different colors all the starter kits come with the clear tanks like this you can buy different colored tanks as well though separately um, so that basically concludes my review of the starter kit itself. Um, I will say about the e-liquid that they sent me as well. Um, Belgian cocoa, this is delicious. I mean, I can't really use it in my dripper. Uh, I think it's very, I think it's a higher PG liquid, so it's kind of harsh. I mean, this is a six milligrams of nicotine, so it's flavor is amazing on it, but I like the smell. My wife doesn't like the smell. She says it reminds her of like a chocolate lollipop or something, and she's just not a big fan of it, but I like it. I like everything about it, except for the fact that I can't use it in a dripper. Who knows, maybe the zero milligrams you can. I'm not 100% sure. I might actually try that out one time, so... Thanks for watching. I mean, if you like it, you know, help me out and subscribe, share the video. Um, I will have more coming up here. Um, I don't know how to edit videos, so I kind of just did this all in one sitting. Um, so once I get a little bit of my skills up a little bit, I'm going to start um, kind of messing around with it. And, you know, so just kind of help me out. I got a whole bunch of reviews coming up. I got something else that Halo sent me from a different company is a bunch of different e-liquids from them. I have some Vape Dojo e-liquids, Mount Baker Vapor e-liquids coming up, uh, a few hardware reviews, so subscribe, keep me in mind, you know. Thank you guys for watching.